but it's only the one side. Right. Ryan, quick play. This, I mean, this, you're the one this one's going, Harry. Yeah. 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 And we're going to have two ARs on. And we are live here at Brandeis University here in the club field at Brandeis. My name is Harry Greenhouse, joined at the box with Ryan Silverman. And we're going to get ready for our MQC round robin. Today is a series just between Brandeis and UVM. Getting ready to play some big games here today. Ryan, really exciting games, right? Yeah, I'm very excited. Always a great time to see Brandeis and UVM play. So. Where does she take? Oh, they're there. Oh. One of them is kind of warped. Get ready to get going here. Our head rep today is Toby Marsh. Marsh. Looks like for the coin toss. I have no idea who won it, but Brandeis is going to be going for quaffle and one or quad ball and one dodgeball. UVM going for two dodgeballs. Starters in this game so far. Looks like for UVM, it's Jack Maldiver and Megan Brown at the beater positions. That's Jack Thornton at keeper. You ready? And there's the brooms up. Media race to both dodgeballs and quad ball. It's just going to slow everything down. All right, finish those starters. Brandeis starting. It's Ben Lambright and Adrian Kretzky at the feeders. It's Felicity Hyman, Hyams, Caitlin Penny, Brady Gunther, and Eli Fighter at the quad ball positions. Kretzky looks for a trade, but nothing home. Fighter with quad ball. Fighter. Passing over to Gunther. Gunther catches. Gunther shoots. Gunther scores. Easy one, two. And a beautiful play, Ryan, because immediately Brandis also got dodged back control. Right, right, right. You can do color, Ryan. Okay. Yeah, that sounds about right. They have Adrian Kretzky on the field. It's very good. So, not very surprised at all. All right, Rachel Rose with quad ball on the near side. Back up to Jack Horton. Fortin, over to Shane Martin, back to Fortin. Fortin, Rose, Rose, Kresge pressuring, back to Fortin. Good passing here. Fortin's not going to drive, break the tackle. Penny tries to kick to Rose, pass goes too high, and Fighter's going to chase it down. Nice play by Penny there to slow that drive. Yeah, I really like UVM's patience there, though. Like, obviously nothing came of it, but it seems like they're taking their time looking for a good opportunity. Good talk. All right, Lucy Hyams bringing down quad ball. Fighter. Fighter. Shipping down the near side over to Penny. Horton puts immediate pressure, a lot of it. Ball gets back up to Fighter. Fighter gets a driving lane. There's no dodgeballs here, but there's a lot of wraps. It's Fortin versus Fighter. Fighter gets through. Fighter shot. He misses high over the hoop. Fortin's going to chase this one down. There's a dive for the ball, quad ball. Penny's going to win it, but Rose is going to jump right on top. He's going to change this possession. And that is a turnover. Good defense at the hoop from Julia yeah. Stample, stopping that goal from Fighter. Toby, did you put your hand up? I saw a hand go up. Toby, did your hand go up from a. Not advantage, no. I just gave a warning. Okay, thank you. All right, Fortin bringing down Quad Ball. Beater on me! Go. 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 Rose, Rose. Gunther gets beat immediately. Now Rose is going to drive. Rose looking for the pass over fighter. There's an immediate beat. Loose ball on the ground. Somehow Jack Horton's got it. Serious one shoots. He scores! Jack Horton getting the goal on a loose ball. That was a great play there. I, I thought for sure that Brandeis is going to get that quad ball. Oh, no, no, no. Great hustle. No, no, no. Oh, there's no dodgeballs so, back. Megan Brown couldn't find it. So here comes Fighter down the field. Ben Lambert trying to clear everyone in front. Fighter breaks the tackle. Fortin shoots and he scores. Too easy for Fighter. 2010. That's just too easy for Fighter. When you have that much control of the dodgeballs, Fighter can just one on one whoever he wants. Yeah. I am impressed though how much UVM was able to slow down. Look at me, go slow it down. I think it's a good omen for their future in this game. All right, Martin. It's Gerald and trying to look for a lane for Martin. Fitzgerald beats out Penny. Fitzgerald beats out Lambright. Brown beats out Lambright. Pass over to Stample. Stample back to Fortin. Hyams is going to try to knock it away. Fortin comes out broom. And now Gunther's got a chance. Gunther driving down the field. Gunther just got hit on the top of the chest. But now it's going to be Felicity. Hyams picks up. Hyams scores. 
Brandeis just running in numbers getting the goal. That was a great beat by Megan Brown, but unfortunately Brandeis just knew what they were doing, had people there to pick up. 30-10 the score. Alright, Fortin now again. Over Rose. Lambright gets beat here. Kreska looks for the trade. Fitzgerald's going to be able to get his wrist back by Penny. That's the ball. Rose still with it. Rose. Taking Gunther. Over to Fortin. Fortin spins out of it. Fortin. Guts beat on the foot by Koretsky. Fighter's gonna pick up. Fighter's gone the other way. Fitzgerald's beat's no good, and it's too easy. Eli Fighter, 40-10. Oh, like we're seeing a particular thread keep coming up in this game already. <laughs> yes. I will say though, UVM did have no bludgers left there at some point. I think if they can capitalize on that next time it happens, they might be able to get a goal out of it. UVM gets up in some new beaters. Oh, Koretsky loses the dodgeball out of her, out of their hand. But then takes it up, makes the beat. Fortin's pass goes over Stample. Stample gets beat. And now there goes Gunther the other way. It's another fast break. It's going to be another easy goal as Gunther scores. Thornton trying to make the wrap in the last second. Brandeis is just dominating the field. It's all Koretsky right now. Yeah. I think UVM beaters need to hang back a little more to stop those fast breaks from happening, even if that means being a little less aggressive on offense. Because they can't just let Fernandez keep doing this. No, <laughs> they can't. And subs coming in, Katie Forsyth and Leah Israel for UVM. Kresge pressured by Jack Wright. Kresge then now trading with Mark 18. Pass over Rose. Kresge beat up Fortin. There's a turnover, the quad ball. Kresge beat literally every person on the field. <laughs> Once again, it looks like this will be another fast break. Gunther's got Quabba on the far side, and he's got only four in and rows in front. Wright's going to be able to get a dodgeball back. But immediately gets beat by... Here comes Spider, one-on-one court, and over to Penny. Gunther. Martin B goes wide, Gunther driving, Gunther shooting, shot, no good, goes over the hoop. But Brandeis is going to be able to keep possession of the quad ball, no reset taken. I will say, I do like Brandeis' ball movement a lot, too. They can do fast breaks, but I like their half courts. Yeah, they've been looking real good in these half courts as well. All right, over to Penny. Penny. Pass over to Hyams, it goes high. Lambright beats out, out Martin. Wright gets beat that, there's no uh, balls again. Fortin over to Gunther. Gunther back to Fighter. Fighter shot misses over the hoop. Race for the ball. It's going to go out of bounds. It's UVM ball. And an unforced error there at that time from Fighter. He could have finished that up very easily. Little slot. Chaser, sub next. Seems like Adrian Koretsky is sub off in the Brandeis. Yeah, it's Alex Wicken in there. And one of the things that's really helped this Brandeis team this year is Alex Wicken. He is making huge steps for them. They, he's sort of made a dominant <laughs> so step this year. That makes more sense. Our team can't be Gunther. So go ahead. I mean, I played with him this summer. I think the summer is where he got really good. Absolutely. That's a turn over there. That's Portman throws it over to the net. Martin gets beat by Wickham. There are no dodgeballs again. Brandeis oh, oh, looking to put pressure. Jack Wright trying to get back in this play for UVM. It's Will. Fighter. Over to Cota Swarren, Chuck to Cota Swarren on the far wing, behind the hoops. Passes over Bryn Zilch. Zilch dodges the beat from Martin. Back over to Cota Swarren. Cota Swarren driving on Fortin. Gets past Fortin. Passes over. It's back to Cota Swarren, wrapped again by the, and oh. hits the shot. Nice floater from Cota Swarren. Jack Fortin getting yellow card for a hit from behind. 
Jordan Smart hits the goal, makes it 40-10. 50 10? 60 10. 60 10. What? UVM did keep dodgeballs though. Okay, Abby Zuber, Abby Zuber subbed in there as well for Brandeis. And Zuber with quad ball, hands are right off the fighter. It's Marcus Sutton and Alex Wicken at beater. Zuber. Fighter. Fighter. Wicken gets a trade, turns over dodgeballs. Wright beats out Wicken. Cota Suarez shot behind the hoop. He scores again. Yeah, shot to Cota Suarez, making the play after play. 70 10, the score. 70 10. Lots of stuff's happening for UVM right now. It's Jack Maldeberg, Carter Boudreau, and Ellen Dorado. As well as Abby Rainey coming in at beater. Yeah, one left! One, one behind, one behind! Andre Zalowitz in there, a keeper for, for Brandeis for the first time. Katie's foresight. Boudreau. Boudreau can't have the pass, he gets loose, but he picks it right back up. Back behind the hoop. Hoops pass up to Katie Forsyth. Forsyth pressured by Zalowitz. Turn up, balls on the ground. Zalowitz, Boudreau gets beat. Curtis Warren's gonna pick it up. And a great defense from Brandeis. We love to see chases and beaters work me together. That's exactly what that was. Who's out of it? No one back in. But like, I don't know. Toby, Toby has the hip hop ball, so it's okay. Alright. Timeout call. Or not timeout, whistle. I have no idea what's happening. <laughs> yeah, I'm sort of confused too, but I won't speculate. Right now, Brandon's defense is really, really dominant. They're flying all over the ball. They're making hits. They're doing what they need to do, and it's causing turnovers the other way. And they're really winning in the beginning of the game. Yeah, definitely can agree with that. Their offense is also looks really great. Lots of good passes. All of them are getting connected. Lots of good shots. I mean, Brandon is just a really good one. ball turnover. No other foul on the play. So it's a quad ball turnover because I don't know. <laughs> of course, thank you. Some, someone stepped out of bounds, so it's going to be our, our um, score table telling us someone stepped out of bounds, so it's going to be a turnover. Sure, that sounds right, I guess. I don't know. I didn't really know what happened. I was the keeper of UVM. Sure. But so UVM's going to put immediate pressure. Jack Maldiver looking for a beat. Wicken trying to put pressure on Maldiver. Boudreau bringing quad ball middle. Boudreau. Oh, good oh, trade there. Right. Boudreau's going to try to get past Curtis Warren. Trashing over to Forsyth. Forsyth charged by Zalowitz. Boudreau wins the one-on-one, -on -one, going all the way in, spinning, gets beat at the very end, and Zalowitz who jumps on it. I will say, that's the second no quadruple opportunity to be able to generate it. Yeah, Maldiver and Rainey are really playing well in this beater game. They're sort of trying to change things around. I want to see passes, Andreas. I want to see passes. Zalowitz. Time 10 Over to Zuber. Zuber. Zalowitz. Waterford playing very high here. <laughs> Marcus Sutton trying to rip this ball away from Rainey. Fast moves behind us, Cota Swarn. Cota Swarn. Back up to Zalowitz. Zalowitz, shot. Finishes. Andre Zalowitz getting the goal in a beautiful set of plays. Marcus Sutton trying to get dodgeball control out of this play. Uh, and he somehow maybe well no uh, he no uh, no maybe I don't know there's a lot of dodgeballs flying. Brandeis is able to get all of the dodgeballs on their side. Boudreaux pressure by Cody Swarren ball loose on the ground. Boudreaux dodges the beat. Boudreaux didn't think he was beat. 
Back as he was. Yeah, that looks like a beat to me. But we'll see what it's called. Scratch card type thing where it started. And I just like was so sunny. I did into it. It's going to be a turnover. Ball goes right to Shock Dakota Swaran, who's got green grass in front. He's got an interesting setup here. UBM has a dodgeball on their side that a beater can run to, but we'll see if a beat scoring make it work. Yeah, that's just too easy, though. You're right, but Dakota Swaran's easily able to get it off before anything else happens. Easy goal, 90 10. Tim. Uh, Ninety ten to score. Ujiro bringing quad ball down. Over to Forsyth. Back to Boudreau. Rainey beats out Zuber. Rainey dodges the beat. There's no dodge balls in this play. Pass behind to Undorada, but the ball goes wide. That's going to be out of bounds. Brandeis quad ball. Subs coming in. Emily Braun, Ethan, Emily Braun in there, Peter. It's Zach Meyer, Wesley Way, Abby Zuber, Rowan Scaslati, Kat Scasolati, and Andre Zal, which still for Brandeis. Over to Scasolati. Back behind the hoop to Zalowitz. So Zalowitz pressured by Maldiver. Over to Way. Way back up to Zuber. Pass goes a little bit wide. He's going to take a reset. Good job, guys. Zuber slowly moving forward. Passing over to Zalowitz. <laughs> over to back to Zuber. Maldiver makes a beat on Zalowitz. Zuber behind the hoops to Way. Way. Pressured by Boudreau. Over to Scaslatine. He gets beat at the edge. And if Boudreau jumps on it. But Brandeis is able to get dodgeball control out of that play. Tyler, I don't know if you looking to drive. Passing back to Underrod. The ball goes too high and it's out of bounds. Turnover, Brandeis ball. Brandeis next possession. It's Zalowitz. Go over to Scaslati. Back to Zalowitz. Tip pass over to Boudreau. Picked up by Zuber. Zuber gets beat and tackled here. It's going to be a turnover. You'll be on ball. Myers beat behind the hoop. Oops. It's a dodgeball turnover. Maldiver wants to put really aggressive pressure here. Dodges the beat as Maldiver, so there's no dodge buzz in play. Here comes Boudreau going wide. Boudreau to Indorado. Indorado wrapped up by Zalas. Back over to Boudreau. Takes a shot. He scores. Carter Boudreau gets the second one for UVM. 90-20. Hey Meg, when you run? Yep. That's Alan trying to take this next possession. We're running Zuber. Yes, I'm ready. Zalowitz. driving here. Rainey's getting tackled by Braun. Zalowitz over to Way. Fire gets beat. Way over to Scassolati. B. Audrey comes flying out of Oliver's hands. The shot. No good. Scassolati. Rowan Scassolati thought it was goal. It looked good for me. Zalowitz. He trips. He falls. He gets it over to Way, though. Way over to Scassolati. Ball on the ground. It's going to be won by UVM. This is a fight between Shapiro and Zuber to get it. There's a whistle. Been, I don't know. 15 minutes! Hey, it's all you, Ryan. All right, thank you.
Thank you, Megan. Abby, that was a great beat by you, Dia. I'm not sure who, but Thank great. Thank you. Good job. Thank you. How you doing? What well, happened? I'm consistently. I thought it was. I'm 45 seconds late. <laughs> Nothing that impacts the game. I'll do better at the 19. You're fine. I don't care. Oh, Harry, are you going to do it? I have to. On the drive, goal by Brandeis is good. Score is 100 to 20. So that goal, it is a good goal from Rowan Scassolati. We go way back in time <laughs> to get that goal. But it is good. Right, I got a snitch, so Ryan's got the game. Yeah. Who shot that? I'm doing some subs in the beater game. 57? They still hold control. 35. 35. 35. 35 on the right there. Keeper makes a drive. Keeper makes the shot. And that's three goals for UVM. Great drive by that keeper who reads. Great drive by Reed. I'm not gonna make the review that. UVM starting to pull it together. Yeah, I know. Alright, let's go. Zalowitz with the ball for Brandeis, handing it off to Penny. Brandeis still with the only one dodgeball. Penny's going to go more towards the near side, looking at her passing options. Passing it off to number 16, back to Penny. Now back to Zalowitz. Zalowitz, before he passes, he wants to bring it to the line. He's going to go for the goal and miss it. Brandeis, oh, Penny's going to have to jump on top of that. It looks like the back of the I think there might have been a beat or two in there. A little bit of a mess. Ref is calling over the goal judge though, so it looks like they're confirming that that goal was no good. Okay, the Zalowitz currently holds the ball, unless something in this ref talk changes that. Um, Brandeis has Mayer in for Peter, currently has control along with Emily Braun. At this point, there's been so many changes since the last time I read. Um, on the UVM side, we have in Dorado as a chaser, number 65. It looks like the ball has been turned over to UVM specifically. Ready! Green's covered by a leader. Green might be able to get a faster shot. Gets past 35 with a really high fighter. Gets it in. And that is the fourth goal for UVM. That was, sorry, that was Scassolati. Anyways, Tenny starts with the ball. Koretsky back in the beater game for Brandeis. 17 30! Enjoying the fray as a keeper. <laughs> UVM has Megan Brown in for Beaver. Um, anyways, Penny's bringing up the ball on the near side. Penny score a pass it back to Fighter. Fighter getting pressured by 65. Back to Penny. Penny scoring a pressure by Brooms. Brooms is able to knock it out with some Beaver help there. Brooms has the ball. <laughs> Brooms runs for it but doesn't see Koretsky there. And Fighter goes for a tackle, but Reams, oh, is off for him. UVM picks it up, and looks like we have some rough calls there. 18-10. I think UVM probably had a fast break there. I just don't think they didn't see it, unfortunately. But. Quad ball turnover to Blue. And it looks like Brandeis was able to get the quad ball out of that somehow. Quad ball's now in the hands of Way. Way's right next to a... Way's where he pass it off to 38. Oh, so is Gunther. Now in the hands of Fighter. Fighter has a few options here. He's going to run towards the near side. Has Penny and Gunther. Avoids UVM chasers. And gets it in. 
Brandeis has dodgeball control right now. UVM subbing some beaters, it seems. We'll get some new faces. Alright, UVM bring up the pod ball in the hands of Bruce. Bruce has a few passing options here. He's got number 27 on the near side. 19 minutes! gets beat. Hands is ball down the hands of Penny. Penny passes it off the fighter. Better gets pressured by UVM's beater, but UVM beater's not able to do that for you. Better going for the fast break. Fighter gets it in. Great hustle by fighter there. <laughs> Looks like we have a new keeper in for a UVM. That'll be Goudreau. Goudreau is being guarded by Wright. 19.45! Sorry. Goudreau is being guarded by Martine. They're going towards the near side. Martine. UVM tries to pass the ball behind Burnley's feet, but it's not back in the hands of Burnley's Carter has a no pleasure left. It's time to go for the fast break. Passes it to a Brandeis Chaser, who loses it, but Fighter is able to jump back on top of it. Still no pleasure in this game. But Fighter's score take it slow. UVM Chasers have sufficiently slowed down Brandeis. Fighter still tries to go through, tries to go for the shot, and it's ultimately Gunther that puts it in. One, two, three. Hey, Alright, as you just heard, we're going into Blackrider on pitch. Score is 130 to 40. Brandeis is winning. It, ultimately, it just seems like Brandeis is dominating this game in every aspect. Their defense is doing a great job. Their offense is getting a ton of fast breaks. Lots of good half courts as well. Great feeder screen. But I think there's a spark of hope on the UVM side. We start to see them start to score more goals towards the end of there. And they do have some great pieces there. I really like Reams. Reams seems to be a great scoring option. UVM speeders have also honestly been killing it today. Like, I still think Brandeis are better, but like, Brandeis is easily one of the best speeding squads in the entire conference in the D1. So the fact that UVM has been able to do that is great. I think ultimately, they just need to connect it's more been passes. A minute. They've had a few no budgers looks that have gone unanswered with goals. And I think if they can capitalize on that with good ball movement in the chaser game, then they'll be good. Um, but now let's talk about the flag. Um, I know traditionally Brandeis usually puts up Eli Fighter as their first kicker. Back to Brooks, please! Someone different today. So that's cool, will be I know Megan Brown has chased for UVM in the past, but don't know as much about them. Does not seem like Megan Brown. Yeah, 130. Yeah, 130. Sorry, yeah, 130 was the score. Looks like for Brandeis, we have number 35 starting. That's going to be Scassoletti. Scassoletti. We're going to go with 190 until someone goes And then for UVM, it'll be number 31 starting as Seeker. And that is Forte. Harry, get off the Harry ball. Greenhouse is, is it 10 seconds or 15 seconds? It's going to be the flag runner today. Okay, Harry Greenhouse is okay, very good. hard Thank flag you. to pass. We'll see what these teams can see. Seekers, let me help me. Let go. Luck. UVM starts with the ball to start off the 20 minute. To start off the flag on pitch. Do not go until it's the S of Seekers. And that's Udra with the ball for UVM. You will be sent back to me. <laughs> On the Brandeis side, you can't see it because it's off camera, but Alex Wicken does have a budget. Sorry, a dodgeball, so this is not going to be a fast break opportunity for UVM. Six, five, four, three, getting immediate pressure by Gunther. Although Gunther's going right back off. Seekers released. And there we go. Seekers are ready. We were counting it. Didn't want to have to. That's why we don't have to. For UVM. They end up Along with Melvin Moore. UVM Seeker tries to go for the shot, but it misses. In the hands of Gunther. Gunther's going to run it, pass it off to Fighter. 
Try to score a slow down, seeing that UVM does have one dodgeball in possession. Fighter, going towards the middle. Passes it off to another Brandeis chaser who I cannot quite see the jumper. Fighter now has the ball again. Fighter making some moves, trying to get around chasers, and that shot goes in. Mark and I tried to block that, but it was a great big pass. Sub now, Andreas. Yes. Alright, the throw with the ball from the ground, taking it up the near side, supported by Mel, Vivian, and Brian as you did. That would be a boost out, Penny. The throw passes it back, and the pass is incomplete. Brandon is able to intercept it. Gunther on the ball, passes it to Brandeis keeper, number 57, Zalowitz. Zalowitz taking the ball up the middle. Alex Wicken and Adrian Koretsky as beaters. Zalowitz to Zilch. Zilch back to Zalowitz. Lots of Z's today. Zalowitz back to Zilch. Zilch to Gunther in the back. Gunther thinks that he's probably got beat but doesn't. And UVM is able to get the ball again. And that's in the hands of Weaver. Some chaser subs are being made for UVM at the moment. Chaser 16. That's going to be Forsen. Forsen back to Goudreau. Goudreau back to Forsen. Forsen is trying to go behind him. Back to Goudreau. Goudreau gets in. Brandeis is ball. In the hands of Zalowitz. He's going to try to make a fast break. But slows down once UVM Beater is in the picture. Zalowitz passes it off to... Um, I lost track of the pop ball. And it's in UVM hands now. Back with Goodwill. Alex! Next one for the lead. Looks like we have a new keeper in for UVM. That's going to be. I have my help. Spread all the way out. Rose. Rose still has the ball. The tackle was not successful on Brandeis' part. Secret placing awfully close to the quad ball. And there we go. All right, Rose being very patient, looking for her options. Rose gets tackled by Gunther. Gunther gets beat. Rose is very hard to get the ball. Rose passes it off. And the passing option gets through. Zalowitz now has the ball, going for the fast break, doesn't see Mel. Mel to be a That beat is called good. He has the ball once again and stops his pass from the good job of Mel. Rose has the ball, taking it towards the near side. Gunther tries to get the ball out, is successful, but Rose is able to remain in possession of it. Rose is going to pass it to number 16. 16 is going to pass it to Israel, but Zalowitz is able to jump on it before that happens. Zalowitz taking it slow. Brandeis making a chase and sub. <laughs> Zalowitz taking it up the middle. UVM only has one dodgeball. Zalowitz is trying to take out their chasers. Passes it to the back. Agreed that ball was blocked. Great block by UVM. I did not see who that was. That was Israel, actually. Great block by Israel. Rose has the ball for UVM. Looks like we have a new beater in for UVM as well. 
rows started by Madison. Rose is going to try to drive. Rose gets wrapped up, passes off to Forsyth. Forsyth passes it to no one, and Brandeis now has the ball. Bring, 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 bring. Now with the ball for Brandeis. Looks like we have a new chaser on for Brandeis as well. Zalwitz is going to run it up. Zalwitz on the far side. Zalwitz fakes the pass. Zalwitz tries to drive through chasers. To 26 in the back. 26 gets the shot. The shot is called. Oh, it looks like there's going to be some rough talk on it. That, that might have been deep before. I'm guessing that's what they're going to be Green number two, six. Yellow card. Good job, Greg. Illegal interaction. Illegal beat to the head. First. Also, there was a yellow card on a head beat by a UVM. Oh, yeah. The beat happened after the Alright, so, no goal. Green number two, six. And the Brandeis goal is called off. Oh. You want to kneel like to roll? I guess the ball can knock it away. Guys on the stream, a little update. The score is 140 to 40. Brandeis is still winning. Why is still not? I had to get it sometime. Oh boy. Brandeis are moving the ball after all that. Two six. Can you duck down a little bit for the camera? Thank you. Number two, Brandeis has the ball. Number two is going to pass it to Zilch. Zilch is going to pass it to Zalwitz. Go, go, go. Zalwitz is going to get it in. Bring it back by Zalwitz. Rose has the ball for UVM now. Looks like UVM's taking it slow as there's some subs on the field. Martin now has the ball. Sorry, Martin, I think that's no, Rose has the ball on the far side. Rose getting pressured by Brandon Chase. Rose gets beat out. That shot is no good. Ball is back in Brandon's hands. Zalwitz is going to get no in the game. unable to set Zalwitz, and that is another bad thing. 150 to, one, 150 to 40. Sorry, 160 to 40. What's the set score? 190. With a 190 set score. So that means Brandeis will win with a stitch catch. Sorry, a flag catch or with three more goals. Rose taking the ball for UBS. They're going more towards the far side. Rose lost the beat, but still getting pressured by 26. 26 is able to get it out, get that fast break. That was Coda Squarin, by the way. Coda Squarin with the goal for Brandeis there. Brandeis now only needs two goals to win this game, or a flag catch. But that's Harry Greenhouse out there, and he is a difficult flag to catch. Some new subs for UVM. Looks like Reams is back in the game as keeper. Reams with the ball. Brown back in the game as a keeper. Oh, sorry. Goudreau, not Reams. Goudreau is UVM's keeper. Passes it to number 19. Back to Goudreau. Back to 19. Back to Goudreau. Lots of passing here. We drove to number four. Number four back to the drive. We drove that three. Number two and Brandeis picks it up. Number two scores the basket. And that's going to be Zuber who just scores. That was Zuber. Very good as yourself. 26.
That means Brandeis only needs one more to win this game, or flag catch. And I'm guessing it'll be one more that wins this game for Brandeis, but we will see. Who drove with the ball for UVM? He draws season open, but gets beat, shoots the shot, it's called no good. UVM still has the ball there. I think that's Israel back there. Looks like there might be some contact calls there. That might that looks like it was from behind, but I guess we'll see what the ref says. Perry was absolutely exhausted. Zuber's first start with the ball for Brandon. Hey, now. Zuber's starting with the ball for Brandon. Go, go, go. Zuber has a few options. Zalowitz on the far side goes to Penny on the near side, though. Penny's going to run it up. Penny getting pressured. Penny still going to go for it though. Penny back to Zuber. Zuber to Zalowitz. Zalowitz, oh, that is no good. Zuber's going to try to jump on it. He's able to retain it. He's turtling on it. And that is a huge mess of chasers right there. That'll probably end up in UVM control, as most of these things do. Yeah, Brandeis chasers get beat out. The, hand, the ball is now safely in the hands of Boudreau for UVM. Boudreau taking it up the near side. Boudreau has Israel in the back. Shakiro to his right. Boudreau is going to pass it to number 19 on UVM though. That's Martin. <laughs> Looks like we got a catch by Fighter. If that's the case, then Brandeis will have won this game. That's my blue is good. Final score, 215.